An idiot sandwich. Boom! That's the sound of squatters, boys. Squatters probably ripping out all of the copper piping from this prick's pub over here. Here you've got Gordon Ramsay, and he's one of these dipshit leftists who loves dipshit leftists. Well, okay, here is some of your dipshit lefty policies coming back to uh, squat. Squat. Now, I hate squatters, boys. Hate squatters. I think all of these squatters need to be captured, arrested, flogged, and then sent right into the center of the sun. Come at me, FBI. Come at me. <sighs> Anyhow, I'm not over here promoting people squatting. I don't like this idea of this. But things aren't going to change. When you have plebs like us at ground level, we can be upset at squatting all we want. That's not going to change any of these policies because rich people run the world. And so the only way that things are going to change is when rich assholes like this run into their virtue signaling, run into their own political ideology or rhetoric or their protecting and amplifying of such rhetoric. Squatting laws will only change when the rich Fuckers like this get their stuff squatted and boom, gang of squatters take over Gold Ramsey's 13 million pound pub, boys. And I don't know what that means in American dollars because Joe Biden done fucked our economy up, but it's a lot. It's a lot. 13, you might be wondering, well, how do you know that he's a lefty scumbag? Well, uh, here's how I know. He was telling everybody, uh, I won't cook for that stupid blunt blump. Now, listen, you don't want to cook for Donald Trump because, you know, you're not a, you're not a performing monkey. That's fine, right? Okay, okay, that makes sense. But as he's telling everybody, he ain't going to cook for that. I ain't going to cook that, Bob. I ain't making no orange chicken for orange, man. I would like to cook for Hillary Clinton, though. Oh, shit. Gordon Ramsay refused to cook for Donald Trump during his trip to the UK. Ramsay knockback came three years after he said that he would like to cook dinner for Trump's election rival, Hillary Clinton. And so, yeah, Hillary Clinton, Joe Obama. And all these other, you can get in, you get real pedantic and say it's not technically just the Democrats because it's the rhino Republican globalist kid fuckers doing this too. But either way, this dude loves him some Hillary Cankle Clinton. Why don't you brisket me up some cankles, fucker? But doesn't like that orange man. Okay, well, orange man is way into property rights considering he builds properties. Hillary Clinton ain't build shit. Hillary Clinton and these Democrat kid fucking globalists over there, they're the ones amplifying, protecting, curating, creating, and protecting these stupid fucking squatting laws where you go break into somebody's house, hang out for 30 days, create some fraudulent records to pay for the water bill, and then boom, now that's your property? That's fucking stupid. You broke into somebody's house. We should arrest the shit out of you. But Democrats like Hillary Clinton, Gordon, and all these other fucking uh, UK equivalents, they're fine with people squatting. They're fine with boats crashing into the white cliffs of Dover, bringing in newcomers to squat the shit out of your pub. And so, no, here, now, maybe some shit will change. So you're seeing this, uh, this happened with LeBron James, his neighbor, two mansions down. Two mansions down? Is LeBron living in Compton? They got mansions in Compton now? I heard, I heard LeBron James hates motherfucking white people. Him and George Takei, that's weird. They're in the whitest part of Beverly Hills. Hmm, anyhow. Uh, LeBron James all upset because two mansions down from him, he got a bunch of scumbags squatting that mansion. Now he wants squatting rules changed. Now he wants Joe Obama to change some of these rules. Now he wants the lefty city council to start enforcing the fucking law. Now that they got squatters on their fucking boulevard, they hyper concerned. Well, that's the same shit over here. That's the same shit over here. This dude rolling around in his Maseratis. And good for him. Good for him. You cooked yourself so well that you got fucking Maseratis. That's awesome. But don't tell me that uh, you're, you're one of these dudes. You, you own 14 fucking mansions. You've got millions of dollars worth of fucking cars. And then you go out there and go, but, uh, I'm a good little lefty out there. Well, then give half your fucking money to, to lefty shit. Oh, no, no, I don't want to do that. I'm a capitalist when it benefits me. I'm a socialist when I virtue signal. You fucking scumbag. Well, now your shit's being fucking stolen from you. How's that work out? Huh? How's that work? Huh? Hit him with some London broil. See how that works. London, there's somebody out there going, London broil, that shit's, that's pleb shit. Dude, like Gordon Ramsay sitting there going, London broil, fucking pleb, I spit on you. 
I got that Wagyu beef. I got that Wagyu beef. Fuck you, prick. Anyhow. 13, uh, 13 million dollar pubs squatted out by these. Uh, there's six professional squatters. See, professional squatters. That means they keep doing this. They keep breaking the law. They keep stealing people's shit. Your lefties won't do anything about it. But you want to cook dinner for them, right? You want to support Hillary Clinton. You want to raise money for Hillary Clinton. You want to protect Hillary Clinton. Get her into the Oval Office so she can create more stupid fucking shitty rules like this, where they steal your property. Now they were all fine with it when it was hitting us plebs. They ain't so fine with it now that it's in Bel Air. They're not so fine with it being in the UK equivalent of Bel Air. I don't know, I don't really know anything about your fucking shithole over there. <laughs> Somebody from the UK, oi! <laughs> Anyhow, uh, Crimean River, a gang of squatters have taken over Gordon Ramsay's trendy $13 million pub, and the celebrity chef has been powerless to stop him. Oh, oh, cook some more gears for leftists, you prick. Professional squatters. Holy shit, the invaders even used Ramsey's own kitchen appliances to barricade themselves in and they glued all the door locks shut. Well, there you go. There's some of your lefty virtue signaling biting you in your own fucking ass. I'm sure it's Michelin star approved. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Support and channel. You want to be kept up to date on lefties finding out. Hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.